Oh, hello everyone. This is group number 18 presenting their topic, Eye Control Wheelchair. Uh, my teammates are Nisha and Impan. Mobility impairments can have a profound impact on an individual's ability to navigate their surroundings independently and can greatly limit their freedom of movement. For individuals who have limited or no control over their limbs, traditional wheelchair control-based models, such as joystick-based systems, may not be suitable. However, advancements in technologies have opened up new possibilities for alternative control systems, one of which is eye-based human. Eye movement-based control systems often offer a promising solution for individuals with mobility impairments as they allow the user to maneuver a wheelchair using only the eye movements. One such system is being proposed that leverages the capabilities of a Raspberry Pi, a low-cost credit card-sized computer, along with other essential components like DC motor, a Pi camera, and a DC motor driver. This innovative system aims to enable wheelchair navigation through the intuitive and precise control of eye movements. The next uh, topic will be taken up by Nisha. Thanks, Rajat. Hello, everybody. I will be discussing the methodology of our project, Eye Control Wheelchair. So the fundamental concept behind the system revolves around the eye tracking and utilizes various factors such as eye movement, blinking, and computer vision technology. So initially, the system employs a Raspberry Pi camera to capture the real-time images. The camera takes a picture with the objective of detecting a face and accurately determining the eye's position. To achieve this, facial landmarks are utilized for both face and eye recognition. This involves utilizing a face detector and like TV, NumPy, and DLib. The system continuously captures real-time frames from the Raspberry Pi camera, which are then converted to grayscale to reduce the processing power while maintaining the clarity. Leveraging facial landmarks recognition technology, the system can identify 68 specific landmarks on the face, each with a unique index. So once the camera captures the real-time video images of the face, eyes, and eye movements with a minimal delay, it will analyze and proce process the images to generate commands. These commands are sent to the GPIO pin and subsequently to the motor driver IC, enabling various operations such as forward, left, right, and stop. Acting as a central component, the Raspberry Pi board controls the entire system's functionality. It will analyze the output signal and transmit control signals to the motor drive circuit. So it will do this on the basis of the position of our eyes. As a response, the motors mounted on each wheel can move clockwise, counterclockwise, or come to a stop. So as we can see in the picture, we can see that the Raspberry Pi camera is connected to the Raspberry Pi board, which is then uh, interfaced with the L29810 motor driver, which is connected to the DC motor, which is connected to the wheels, which will either propel it forward, backward, left or right. Uh, over to Impana to, to talk about the methodology in detail. Thank you, Nisha. Now I'll be talking about the steps for implementation. So. We've made use of the PuTTY software and uh, the VNC server software in order to implement this in real time. So um, first we need to connect the Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry Pi network in your mobile data. You could use Wi-Fi or the mobile data. Um, so as you can see in the video, uh, Rajat, I'll uh, tell you when to start the video. Uh, can you just pause it for a moment? Yeah. So. Um, so we first integrate uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, with our laptop uh, to use the same Raspberry Pi network as the data in our uh, laptop as well. And uh, we have, have the PuTTY software as well as the VNC server software installed in this. So we use the um, address, the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in order to connect it with the uh, Raspberry Pi software and uh, the VNC server. So once we click that, we can see the screen that you can see in the beginning of the video. Um, so could you play the video now? As you can see, I have connected the camera uh, on top of the laptop to capture my eye movements. And uh, uh, you can see the wheelchair movement according to my eye movement. I'm looking uh, towards the center of the camera. It moves straight. the left on the screen you can see it detects that it's left and the wheels move accordingly 
uh, at the right direction uh, it moves to the right accordingly and uh, when i blink or close my eyes the um, the wheelchair movement stops so the blinking is mainly uh, to ensure that an accidental blinking by the user does not um, stop the uh, wheelchair uh, immediately but if the eye is closed for long enough it calibrates it and uh, it subsequently stops the movement of the camera so this is the demonstration of our project uh, thank you very much